So the same way we may grow out of the allergy, we can also grow into the allergy. Is that, is that correct? That's, uh, that's accurate and correct. It was not the case until the recent past. So in general, the march from genetic predisposition to a clinical outcome and allergy was, okay, I'm born with the genetic predisposition, and then, you know, eventually I developed this food allergy, and then I'll grow out of it. And that was premise of pediatrics in general. Now we see people that develop food allergies in their 20s or 30s, and people that start to scratch their heads, that how does that happen? And matter of fact, this happened mostly, almost exclusive people that embrace a Western lifestyle. And the answer is environment counts, lifestyle counts. Contrary to what we believed before, being born with a genetic predisposition of food allergy or autoimmunity or cancer or Alzheimer or, or you know, Parkinson's is not a destiny. We thought that that was the case. It all depends how we play our genetic cards and therefore our lifestyle. And the major challenge that we're facing right now is to understand. What we've been doing wrong, embracing a Western lifestyle that led us this surge of all these chronic inflammatory diseases, including food allergies, that we may eventually look at so that we can slow down or mitigate this trend.